Peninsula Ovada isn't doing very well. Have you been overwatering it? This jade plant you have on the windowsill here. It's actually a succulent, and since I'm assuming you leave this window open all the time, it should get more than enough water just from the occasional rain blowing in. Speaking of the rain, your decorative plant may be doing poorly, but the mildew in your drywall is flourishing. of them, the Crassula ovata, also known as the jade plant, money tree, lucky tree, or friendship tree, is an excellent and easy to care for house plant. They make beautiful bonsai, are suitable for beginners, and have some cultural significance both in the Far East and America as a token for good financial luck. Most likely an urban legend, but still a nice gift. <laughs> I'd like your authorization to have a few tools shipped here. If I replant it into a more suitable pot with sandier soil, it should be thriving again soon. You just have to remember to water it less frequently. Considering the state of your apartment, I'd have figured you'd neglect it rather than drown it. Ironic, since it would be doing better if you had. The supply should be here soon. I ordered from a place close by to keep the shipping costs down. Oh, now uh, one other thing. When I was doing the research on how to best take care of the Crassula ovata, I stumbled upon the persistent belief that talking to plants improves their health. There is scientific evidence that shows there may be something to the notion, but the methodology in the studies was a bit shaky, so it could all be rank superstition. I have, in fact, already taken the liberty of sending a request to his office. And considering the broken window, broken sink, and the lingering sense of disrepair, I am not confident he has a history of following through. I would suggest confronting him in person, but I have run a mesh search, and the man is a convicted felon for assault and battery with a deadly weapon. Perhaps we should bring some sort of a bribe? I will continue to formulate a stratagem. Anyway, I'll have this plant flourishing in no time. If left in direct sunlight, the leaves gain a pretty red tinge to their edges, and it should start flowering in the autumn. It'll really pull the whole room together. You know, once we get the sink fixed. Oh, it's almost the time Hayden had scheduled to meet with Tomcat. We should make our way to Stardust soon. Your city map is updated with the location.
the way to lush greenery in no time. Every bit will help in the end. I think Wilty will survive just yet. More of that will surely be on the way to lush greenery in no time. Every bit will help in the end. I think Wilty will survive just yet. Mm, with more of that, we'll surely be on the way to lush greenery in no time. will help in the end. I think Wilty will survive just yet. Mm, with more of that, we'll surely be... Neon signs are telling the truth. All right, looks good to me. Welcome to Stardust. Welcome to Stardust. This is the place. Have you ever been here before?
Huh? Tomcat is... Oh, wait. I get it. You headed right up to the chick with the ears, because of course she'd be the one with the cat name. Unfreaking believable. Find them yourself, jerk. You guess? Look, I'm cruising for cuties right now, and cat jokes are the biggest turnoff. I don't know where Tomcat is, so look for them elsewhere. And one more thing. Don't expect others to be so kind, or even me most times. You want to talk about the hybrid thing? Cool. No one's trying to hide it, and you won't have an easy time avoiding it at this club. But jokes, puns, and worse, assumptions? That will get you blacklisted fast. We don't all have the energy to handhold genotypical people who can't spare 10 seconds to pull out their ROM and look things up. If you try to pet me, your arm is coming off. We clear? Sorry, did you say genotypical? Yeah, as in not a hybrid like me. Now then, I'm not here to educate you, and I do have a life to return to. Yeah, alright, whatever. Just get moving. Hi there. I heard you were looking for me. Yours truly, doll. Although, voila. Not the attention. It'd be just grand if you didn't holler for me so loudly. I'd do my share of flirting with both sides of the law. Wouldn't want little old me to get in trouble, huh? So, to what do I owe the pleasure? Hayden's missing. Well, it's one way to sour my night. I already saw you got his little ROM with you, so I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for now. You know about me? Aiden never mentioned your involvement. Well, sure thing, hon. I helped reprogram the back end on your OS, so the AI code Hayden wrote for you would work properly with the mesh network. I have a distressing lack of information on my own creation. Hayden never saw fit to inform me on what went into designing my programming. Is there anything else you can tell me? Mm, not much more on that end. I'm a crack shot at making the lips OS dance to my tune, but Hayden's coding in your AI core is a whole different can of worms. <laughs> Way out of my league. Sorry, doll. Anything else I can help with? Oh, sure! <laughs> you might have even heard of me in the news way back when. About ten years... Huh? To see if I could. I mean, Parallax is a mighty big target. Bigger than the government. I don't know. I didn't really do it to steal anything, but I had to break an awful lot of eggs to crack my way in. I chalk it up to the exuberance of youth, and now I try to stay on the straight and narrow. Mostly. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? Sometimes I treat this place like it's my own little bat cave. Probably North Carolina, doll. Sure, it's not the glitziest town in the world, but folks like the way the sun goes down. Still, 
This ain't a bad town for a southern belle. Lots of clothes. I had to get a third walk-in closet. Hayden and I met not long after my blackout expired, when he recruited me for my expertise in lips. It puzzled me at the time, since he's very sharp himself. I mean, he, he could have done the job blindfolded and boozy. I think he just wanted someone working on it off the books. He ain't the most uh, straightforward kind of man. Mostly that little bot you got there. Well, I, I'm sure he had his fingers in lots of pies, but turn is all I knew about. Oh, it's a powerful OS. And it's since been adapted to run on ROMs after they figured out how much more efficient it is. It's focused on learning algorithms, so it can tailor itself to each user's habits. And it functions through using a distributed mesh network for non-essential public files. That's just a fancy way of saying all ROMs connect to all other ROMs, within range, and they share all files the user has tagged as private. It's handy in dense population areas like NeoSF, since it can bypass regular telecom nodes to access the internet. Out the sticks, though, you're stuck connecting to regular old pops. <laughs> yeah. I can't avoid the thought that Hayden's disappearance has something to do with me, based on his recent behavior. Well, let's see. Uh, Hayden was pretty hush-hush about his work on your creation, but if Parallax found out about it somehow... Oof. That might have changed things. It ain't always so good for a big company when their leading product declares independence. <laughs> I'm certain Hayden had some kind of intellectual property clause written into his contract with him, but he would just get fired, maybe even sued. I, I can't imagine they would disappear him. I mean, they ain't the CIA or anything. Oh, don't you worry about Jess, none. She just don't have a lot of patience when talking to genotypical folks like us. She's had to deal with an awful lot of pricks. Cause, uh, it will. Well, that ain't the most delicate way of putting it, but it makes things tough, you know? Nah, I'd leave her alone if I were you. She's sharp enough on her own, but she's got friends in low places. Mm, she does owe me a favor, or three. But I ain't sure I want to waste one on pulling your foot out of your own rear, you hear? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm not real sure, huh? But it would likely help if we knew why he went missing in the first place. I'll stay here and ask around a bit. People know me, and they sure ain't gonna talk to a newbie like yourself. Why don't you hop back over to Hayden's place and grab the data cache out of his computer for me? We can go over his research notes and see if we can't find a reason for his being vanished. If Parallax is involved, there's probably something we're not seeing yet. Best to get all the clues we can find. The data cache would be the best place to start. Good luck! Turin, you... You keep out of trouble.
will think twice before messing with you again. Good thing, too. Good. <laughs> 